Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are, from me, Bishop Bishop. This morning I want to talk about spilt sugar. You see, I went to go grab the canister that holds our sugar in my house. And, well, the lid wasn't on there good and tight. My spouse has a tendency to not put it back right. I was at fault as well because I grabbed up too high, expecting the lid to be snugly in the canister. So I grabbed that canister to take it across the kitchen, and I dropped it. And it did that thing that seemed so weird. The top went flying, and then it fell just right so that it was like completely upended. I was able to slide my hand under the sugar and rescue some of it. But most of it went on the floor. And I was pissed. I was angry. I did not want to deal with all that sugar on the floor. And when I stepped into the area where the sugar was to slide my hand under the canister to try to rescue a little bit of sugar because I hadn't yet made my coffee and I desperately needed a little bit of sugar. Well, my feet, the bottom of my feet, got covered in a layer of sugar grit which is rather disconcerting if you haven't ever felt it. I picked up the canister and I put what was left of the sugar on the counter and I just looked. I just looked at all that sugar for a moment. And part of me wanted to leave it there. Part of me didn't want to deal with the mess. So, I took a deep breath and I went and got the dustpan and the broom and I started sweeping all that sugar up. Now, there's probably going to be little bits of sugar grit all over my floor. I, sugar is kind of intense that way. You can't always get it all up all at once. I'm going to be fine with, it with my bare feet tomorrow, I'm sure. Now, I was conscientious and I swept good, but there's going to be bits of sugar everywhere still. And for some reason, that spilt sugar made me think about the melting Arctic ice caps and what's happening in Greenland. And I can't think about that stuff too much because it depresses the hell out of me and then I freeze up, sort of the opposite of what's happening to the Arctic ice caps. I freeze up and I can't do anything. And I think maybe I shouldn't even be on the planet and that's not so good. So I don't pay too much attention to the doom and gloom science news, but I pay a little bit of attention. And I've been thinking about those melting caps, those melting glaciers, a lot lately. And I'm wondering why we don't sweep up the sugar. I mean, we can't fix everything. There's a point at which all our industrial processes have sort of built up into something big, and some of it isn't about human action. I mean, a lot of it is, but not all of it is. And well, why aren't we sweeping up the sugar? No, we're not going to be able to sweep it all up. No, we're not going to do it perfectly, and we're not going to agree on all the ways to sweep, but we haven't really begun to sweep. We have people denying that there's sugar on the floor. And maybe it's not as bad as some of the doom and gloom people out there say, but there is sugar on the floor, and damn it, why can't we start sweeping? Now, you and I individually can do little sweep jobs. But that ain't enough. We need collective action. We need governmental action. And we need to start pushing the broom handle up the butts of our politicians to get them to start sweeping. Or to let us start sweeping. So today I ask you to think about what sugar in your life needs to be swept up. Start sweeping. Because if you don't, then it just gets worse and worse. And the sugar will get everywhere. You can never sweep it all up. But you got to start somewhere. Well, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, take care and keep on keeping on.